channel Code with Neha. So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In some of my previous videos, I have discussed about how to make responsive navigation bar and login page using HTML and CSS. You can check these videos from the above i button. Today, we will be discussing about how to make a responsive drop-down navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So, without any further delay, let's get started. First, starting with the basic HTML tags. Within body tag, we are using ul tag for the unordered list. Within ul, defining the list as the options of navbar. Press Ctrl S to save the changes and refresh the browser to see the result. To style a navbar, using style tag just above the closing head tag. To remove the extra spaces, styling the body, keeping the margin and padding as zero. Now, styling the UL part. To remove the bullet from the UL using list style type as none, setting background color as black, and text color as white. Ctrl S and refresh the browser for result. Moving on to UL align. Setting display as inline block to display the list horizontally. Setting the font size as 25 pixel and padding that is the distance from the elements as 15 pixel. Moving on to the hover styling. Hover is used to select elements when you mouse over them. So, UL Ally Hover Styling. Setting background color as lime green and text color as black. Save the file and see the result. Now, to create drop-down option, inserting a div container as div class equals to drop-down, just before the li closing tag of department. Within this div tag, creating another list for the different departments. To style the drop down part using dot drop down in the style tag, setting display as block to display the list vertically below the main list. Position as absolute. Absolute positioned elements are completely taken out of the regular flow of the web page. Save the file each time for the result. For the proper orientation of the list using margin top and margin left.
और डॉट ड्रॉप डाउन यू एल एल आई यूजिंग डिस्प्ले एस ब्लॉक यू कैन सी लिस्ट अपियर्स वर्टिकली टू रिमूव एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस फ्रॉम द लिस्ट स्टाइलिंग डॉट ड्रॉप डाउन यू एल जस्ट बिफोर डॉट ड्रॉप डाउन यू एल एल आई सेटिंग मार्जिन एस जीरो एंड पैडिंग एस जीरो For another sub drop down, inserting another div container as div class equals to drop down two within the EE department, listing the different subjects of EE. Control S and refresh. Similarly, styling drop down to div as dot drop down to, display as block, and position as absolute. Setting margin left and margin top as required. To make the drop-down navigation bar responsive, that is, response when mouse will hover, setting dot drop-down display as none, and changing dot drop-down styling as ul li dot hover dot drop-down, that is, the drop-down option will only appear when the mouse will hover. Similarly, for the drop-down to list to appear mouse must hover to EE. So, repeating same steps for drop-down to. This time, to display the second list, changing the style drop-down to to dot drop-down ULLI hover dot drop-down to. Save the result. Setting the background color for the website and a simple drop-down navigation bar is done. That's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.